Hello and welcome back to this video on YouTube, youtube.com. Uh, and this is gonna be the most important video for you guys that struggle with blitzes out of bunch. Now I'm gonna show you how to identify which blitz your opponent is running. And then I'm gonna give you some specific setups that pretty much destroy 90% of the generic online people that you're gonna face. Now, don't get me wrong, people are great at blitzing because they can't do anything else against bunch. They run coverage, good luck. Good luck if I can roll out and you play coverage. Best of luck, I'm gonna win the game. Now, but some people, I personally don't struggle with the Blitz anymore because I faced it so many times. But if you still struggle with the Blitz, this is the perfect video for you. Before getting any, getting any further, please remember to hit the like button. And if this video helped you, or is gonna help you, reward me with a subscribe. Um, I can't really speak. How do we know which Blitz our opponent is running? I'm not going to touch on uh, Big Dime Warfare 6 because that is pretty easy to see and also did an extensive breakdown on how to uh, pass the ball against one for 6 in my Gun Bunch ebook. You can check it out, uh, out right there. And yeah, let's just talk about 3-4 odd. Most of the people that run 3-4 uh, odd are going to run cover 4 drop show 2. How do we notice that they're running 3-4 odd? Basically the setup is splits all linebackers and then press until these people get into the gaps. You see that it's pretty symmetrical. That's how you know that it's 3-4 um, odd. Now you don't know if they're running cover 3, cover 4. The, these, are, these two are pretty much the only coverages they're going to run with that look. Cover 3, sky, or cover 4, drop shot 2. 90% of people run cover 4, drop shot 2. So if we see that, we can be pretty safe in assuming they're running cover 4. Now, how do we know that it's not 3-4 uh, odd blitz? That it's actually the 3-4 bear blitz. On offense, once again, can come out in any play out of bunch. Bear, usually they run pinch back O, or they're gonna run cover two invert. We're gonna run pinch back O because that's what most people run. Some people run cover two invert. Just be ready for that, that it doesn't always look the same. Just pinch back O is something that you're gonna face more regularly. As soon as you come out in the play, you see that the alignment is sort of different. These three right here are the D alignment. And these two right here, or at least th these two are the middle linebackers. And we have outside linebacker, outside linebacker. So the with 3 for odd, the inside linebackers were between the defensive linemen. In 3 for bear, they're outside of them. That's how you know which one it is. Because you have to attack. Why is that important to know? Because you have to attack them differently. Now, first, we're going to talk about how to attack cover 4 drop shot 2. And then some more general setups now let's talk about cover four drop show two my play for uh the three four out blitz is what is your post let's call it very important we want to call it with the bunch side to the white side of the field how do we know which side is the white side in that case the white side is to the right pretty self-explanatory i think you guys now understand what i'm saying with white side i'm gonna do the setup on defense and the setup that i want to go with is hitch hopkins and that's the entire setup. How do you block the blitz? You're gonna ask. You're gonna slide to the right, uh, to the side of the tight end, and not gonna ID anybody, not anybody. Now, why is this play so good? You might say it's just a drag and a hitch and some deep post route that we're never gonna throw. Well, it's good because we can throw the post, and the hitch and the drag are very far um, apart, and in general. You only get you're gonna your opponent only has one user and he has to cover one of them because pretty much nobody runs this defense and mans up uh, number 85 because he can be on a corner route. That's also something I'm gonna, that I'm gonna show you. So that will be an pretty much an insta touchdown if the corner route is manned up with a heavy blitz. Um, and besides that, it's just an incredibly risky adjustment because then there's no deep zone on the right side. Mm, that's not too good neither and the drag gets open against pretty much any coverage uh, it also beats man coverage sort of it's never gonna get manned up though at least usually not this is a thing with these uh, blitzers they adjust they know what they're doing they can't run the same coverage over and over again so usually you can't always you can't run the same play over and over and over again you can't run this play 10 times in a row and have success 10 times against someone who is half decent. Not, not gonna happen. So you have to uh, switch it up. And if you switch it up, mix this play in, it's gonna be really good. 
Now let's just pretend that. Um, so we just no. Let's not pretend anything. We have to make sure. Sorry, I run control. We have to make sure that uh, we throw it away from the user right there. I'm gonna throw it to Hopkins very easily. Pick up ten yards. Now that was really weird because the the blitz actually came in. Even though this uh, usually picks it up, sometimes it's gonna get weird, man. It's gonna get weird. Like right there, picked up perfectly. Gonna catch it very easily. Now that's what we want. Usually, once again, I'm saying usually a lot because you can't say 100% of the time because people adjust. This guy right here is using the, the opponent is going to use it the weak side safety. In this case, J J Jimmy Ward. Yeah, Jimmy Ward. Um, He's going to use either the hitch or the drag. And if he, if we, if you don't let it. <sighs> The thing is that sometimes they loop around and then you're in trouble. You get you're gonna get sacked a couple of times a game if you face this. Um, let's try it again. Oops. No, we want to, we want to pass him in. Or accidentally ran him in. Um. Yeah. Oops. Can I put him on hitch, please? Thank you. Um. Now this is how it looks like. Let's pick up the blitz. And let's just pretend. Yeah, I shouldn't. I should have manned him up. Should have managed to show this. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that if your opponent drops down on either the drag or the hitch, you can throw the post drop behind it pretty easily. I shouldn't just say it, I should also show it. So let's do that. Let's say that let's say that our opponent is gonna cover the drag. So get the protection. Perfect. Now you see that we can throw the post. A lot of people, when they blitz that heavy. They get kind of greedy and try to look underneath stuff. It's a great play to attack over top. Now let's talk about how to, how to attack heavy blitzes just generally. This is a very cover four specific play. Now if we face um, three four bear, we're gonna come out in wide receiver post. And what's important about that is we're gonna come out with the bunch to the short side of the field. That's why that's gonna be important. I'm gonna say it right now. We want to put Thomas. No, Hopkins, Hopkins, yeah. We want to put our Hopkins on that post route, and then we're gonna flip the play so he stays on that post route. That is the most important route of that play. Then we're gonna put Julio Jones on a corner, and we're gonna motion snap him to the outside. Now, how do we block the blitz again? We slide to the side of the tight end and don't ID anybody. Now, either the post or this or the corner route is gonna get open against Mankers. I mean both of them are gonna be open but one of them is gonna be taken away by your opponent's user so you can throw either of those now a lot of people when they run their blitz though they press and they put outside quarters out there this then makes it a little bit tougher to throw the corner out I'm just gonna show you that you still can you have to get the timing down pretty precisely though so just keep that in mind motion snap to the outside just like that I can throw it, it's just, it's a tighter window. You see that it's not as open as it was uh, against man coverage. I didn't actually show it against man coverage, so I'm gonna do, do that now. Um, yeah. So on defense, let's see, man coverage, very easy. On offense, this setup, this is gonna absolutely toast man coverage. Just like that, very, very, very open. And there are some ways to defend this, but they are very specific. For example, to defend the post route that's coming. Um, I'm not going to pretend that this is unguardable. It's pretty tough to guard them. That's important. Generic setup is outside quarters, outside quarters. Inside third on him, and then user this guy. This guy is going to get is going to be the user. Let's man him up on the drag because... It's actually, I can't man him up on anybody. Um, can I man him up now? I can't man him up, uh, up on anyone besides Frosize or Hopkins. And I want to show you guys. No, let's actually let's actually show how how extremely aggressive you you'd have to be um, to defend the post uh, the short post run. You have to put hook curl out there for me to not throw it at the break and then once it we're gonna have the protection I'm gonna show you how we're gonna have the protection 
you see nothing is gonna get open you have to cover the drag and the post routes with your user one of them is not gonna work because as soon as uh, the post route passes the hook curl it's open if not user and the drag is always open so even if you take away the post route right at the break and you expect your pressure to come in I'm gonna have enough time to still make a read and let's not forget about the corner out which still was open I still could have thrown that um, but let's think about how much of a risk it would be um, if we ran that specific setup so that setup right there let's flip the play if we want if we run the play like that good job you have a bag but if you run the play like that remember the first setup you now have a touchdown or not really um, because you have a deep zone out there but the deep zone is gonna be um, the user so you, the opponent's user has to drop all the way back there just to not give up a one play touchdown that's how risky that is so you have to play mind game is he gonna put the zone out there or is he not going to most of the time he's not going to so you run the play with the uh, with the um, sharper post route and if you see that he is putting his zone there and it's not manned up no more run the post the deep post the skinnier post and you have a touchdown um, I hope you guys uh, understood what I'm saying now this is my favorite setup against this because that post route from the right is so tough to guard and don't forget we still have that Julio Jones run and if both of those are covered miraculously then we can still throw the drag and I want to yeah that happens sometimes uh, I, I want to make an announcement quick I played a guy in weekend league that ran this exact defense on me or no he ran cover two out of um cover two invert out of uh three four bear I'm gonna do a breakdown on that video if you want to see me Deal, again, uh, deal with the blitz against a, a real opponent, quote unquote real. Uh, watch that video. Hit the notification bell so you know when I'm putting that up. But in general, that post route is absolute money. And that corner route gets open against pretty much anything. Man coverage. <sighs> Let me tell you, these instant sheds, they're not going to happen against you or to you if you have a good offensive line in man ultimate team so do a blitz everybody right now i want to pick the blitz up one more time to show you how consistent it actually is if we don't get shredded however you have to uh you have to differentiate between uh the blitz getting picked up and a shed because a lot of the times blitz blitz is not going to come in because um because they get a free rusher if you know what you're doing a lot of the times however even if you pick up the bits properly and you have everyone accounted for you have seven one-on-ones one of them is gonna shed so, so even though you know how to pick the blitz up you still have to make the read in time um, now let's talk about my last play that I would um, actually we don't have to flip it what I would recommend you to do is do one of two things come out with the bunch to the short side of the field and put Hopkins on a flat route, then flip the play. Put our middle receiver in this case, um, Mike Thomas, on an out route, and Julio Jones on a streak. Now we're gonna do the same pass protection as we did earlier, and let's do this setup right here one more time. Um, I'm putting this guy in a deep third, and this guy is gonna be our user. And it, that, at this point, um, this is a pretty generic setup, by the way, so a lot of people that you're going to face are going to run this. I can throw either the out route or that flat route. That flat route, uh, that flat route gets open against pretty much anything, except for a hard flat and man coverage. But let's think about it. Let's think about it. Let's think a little bit. Um, if that's man coverage right there, and I streak that guy, and I do the same setup backside, this is a touchdown. This is a literal touchdown. So if he runs man coverage, which, which would back that flat route, or if he runs a hard flat or a cloud flat, which would back that, if he runs a cloud flat, that's also a touchdown. So he's never going to run anything but a flat, uh, a deep zone 
or man coverage which can sort of play deep but has a chance of getting beaten deep and if he runs man coverage and you you have their wheel uh, their flat route out there then it's going to be covered but you still have the out route and a lot of the times let me actually show you this um because i think that is really cool um do i have the perfect setup okay i have the correct setup A lot of the times, your opponent is going to run quarters, quarter zones. In quarter zones, they drop back really slowly. So you have a chance of hitting that streak. You can hit that streak still. And let's not forget, we have that flat block, which either the streak is going to be covered. So we're going to look either Thomas or Hopkins. Thomas is also going to not going to, he's not going to get covered by any main coverage. And he's only going to get covered if we put a flat zone out there cloud flat anything if we put that out there that's gonna get covered but once again remember if we put uh if we put this guy out here on a cloud flat if i run any sort of deep zone to that side of the field it's a touchdown again so your opponent is gonna he's not gonna be i, I don't think that you're gonna face many opponents that are gonna be risky enough to do that and if they are they're gonna win that specific play they're gonna win it if they also have the streak accounted for and they have the flat route manned up. So be it. He got you on that play. But the beautiful thing about this setup also. Let me reset the play. Is you don't always. I recommend you to not always put him on a flat route. Put Hopkins on a slant. <laughs> this is now where things get really interesting. Same setup on the strong side. Out route streak. And now. If he runs a cloud flat. Best of luck guarding that, man. Best of luck guarding that. That's That toasts man coverage. If your opponent blitzes all these people, like he is most gonna, he's going to be most of the time. That slant route is open against anything but a user. And this is now, this is the real setup where it depends on reading the user. You have to be really good at making hard reads. And this just happens uh, through practice. See what your opponent is using. Oh, he's using the in route. And the out route, I'm just going to throw the slant. Right there, I got knocked down. Going to happen from time to time. Just read the user. As soon as you see him going, making even a slight step to the in route, they're so far, with, uh, far apart that you can throw pretty much any one of them. Most of the time, your opponent user is not going to be expecting that out route, and you can throw pretty much either of them. <sighs> yeah, I know. You guys that are having trouble with the blitz, just play online. People do that a lot. This is how to pick up, uh, pick up and attack blitzes out of three four out and three four bear. Now there's obviously a not lot more to that. There are many more setups, but these are just the most simplest ones that I can recommend you guys to check out. Get into practice mode and let your opponents or let um, your CPU throw some uh, different heavy blitzes at you and see if you can make the read in time. Just try it out, man. You're gonna have a lot of fun because once you don't lose to these people anymore you're gonna win so many more games because one once you start um destroying people's splits they really have no idea what to do because that's basically that's their entire defense people that blitz heavy they usually can't play coverage this is all i have for you today i hope you enjoyed the video this was a long video because blitzing is a heavy topic and it's tough to be good against the blitz it just takes repetition it takes knowledge i gave you a little bit of knowledge you're gonna have to experiment yourself find out what works for you play online play these people get better make quick reads have fun passing the ball in man 20. check out the other videos on my channel if you want to learn more about what i'm doing i pass the ball get a gun bunch ebook protect that out if you want to pass gun bunch best formation in the game because it can attack these blitzes if you have any questions let me know down below have a wonderful rest of your night or rest of your day whenever you're watching this. See you in the next video. Peace. That was so corny. <laughs>